Lele. Listen, watch this tefiti. Turn to Teka because I could speak in many tongues, articulate to the moon, reverence soul in the way that as I clench my teeth and exhale, I say, I am sick of making the epokis for the guests. Just me, the obedient daughter. Too low. Too low. Too low. In the corner of my eyes sits my brother, watching me bend my knees to show respect that little piece of- I straighten the mismatched fellas and wipe the portraits on the wall. See my reflection in the glass, how long must I wear this mask? The, the mask, mask of Tene Lele. Good girl. We have gotten so used to asking for forgiveness, forgetting what apologies sound like when they're not coming from our own mouths. It seems like our bodies are conditioned for labor from all the bridges we have built, getting over our invisibility, getting over forgotten fapetais and famole moles. Men playing hide and go sleep. Men playing hopscotch and bourbon. And the critics with their ratings like what? Uber Eats or something. Or something. Maybe our bodies are conditioned for labor because our minds are conditioned to refill another's cup whilst ours is constantly empty. Nobody remembers to ask if we've had enough to eat or drink and despite this, I am weighed down. My hands shake. And it's not because of the 1,321 cups of ipuki I hold on my arms. It's not because they're too heavy. It's just I carry with me my tongue, a gold mine. And learning to hold the heaviness of it has me tired. Learning, learning to, to hold it has me tired. Learning to hold it has me tired. But what about my mom? And her mother? Maybe these expectations have me sinking into myself because I don't just carry my tenelele. I, I carry theirs. They're to tell of scars, rough hands that hold the same shape as mine, but hers feel too much like coal. coal. We have learned to unshine. Learn to hide the gold we carry. We, we have seen how the world treated West Papua. We have seen what happened to gold mines in the Pacific. Mom, can I? No. Nan, can I? No. Our mothers have tried to protect the treasures wedged between our teeth so they are stolen out of our mouths, for they know all too well how willing the world is to take. How willing they are to take our mothers, Tene Lele, and turn them into Tene Matuas. We have been warned with every limping step, the effort it takes to lead a generation when our backs have been used as stepping stones. And so we are taught to Tulo, to smile, and to correctly guess how many sugars you want in your ifuki. And so we offer up our backs for you to stand on, only to uncrack our spine, retrain our minds to lead the next generation. Because we have never been expected to be Tene Lele. We have never been expected to be Tene Matua. We, we have, have always just been expected to be woman. woman.